Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. Happy that whoosh is working better today. And I guess the computer just needed a reset. Anyway, well, thank you for the share uh, and for the like. So we're back here today. We're going to be doing more Pokemon Legends Arceus. We got three quests that we have skipped past somehow. Uh, one was something to do with the Clefairy. We somehow missed it entirely. Um, so we're back. We're going to try to get that. One was we just happened to have to talk to a person and then collect a hundred leaks for them. We're doing that. And the last one is a balloon race after we finish the Alabaster Icelands. Joshua Bryan, what's up? How are you doing, buddy? Cheers to you, how? What's going on? Anyway, if it's your first time uh, here on the stream, even after the stream's over, feel free to follow. It means a lot. We are only 10 away from our goal of hitting 250 before the end of the month. Um, to help us do that, if you're coming back before, like Josh here, uh, drop a like, share, drop a comment, stars, whatever you feel like doing. If you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. Appreciate seeing you guys pop in every single day. Uh, if you're new over there, subscribe. If you've been there before, like or comment. Check it out. Got tons of great shorts. Put up like three today. It's probably more than I should have, but you know what? Got too many clips. They got to go out. So anyway, Josh O'Brien. What's happening, buddy? Okay. I want to use Spirit Tomb. Just take Torterra out. It was kind of more useful than... Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take Empoleon out. All right. So we need a few things. We need to wait for a full moon, but for a quest we're doing, we're going to have to... Ooh. Wait for this full moon and use it here for Clefairy. Because apparently you got to catch a Clefairy, which is only going to show up at night. Once it does show up... <coughs> Uh, and we start the quest, we have to do it again at like midnight. And Ursa Ring is a really. Oh, not. What did I say? Midnight? Under a full moon. And Ursa Ring's really good for indicating us that there's a full moon because of the peat block. If he can evolve, we've got the right moon cycle. Apparently, there's like 14 times you can go to sleep before you'll get a full moon. It'll be there for two nights in a row. Terrible. one short from being able to finish this. No, I should be fine. One last thing, I, before I even get her ring up there, I kind of want to see if there's shinies. I've seen the shiny Earth ring is green, and that looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So this area we're going to, uh, I've been there, where the Clefairy is. I don't remember it. Apparently, that's where the P unknown is that I haven't been able to find and wasn't on my map. So hopefully we'll be finding that here. 
Hey, Josh. Yo, sorry, phone spazzed out. I'm good, thanks. Just got back from seeing Hailstorm live. What a show that was. Oh, nice. All right, my, I'm doing fantastic. Doing real good here. We're live. Getting through some uh, bigger parts of the game today. We've got a boss battle coming up. It's going to be great. You came in on a good day. Do you have a few drinks at the concert? Hailstorm. In the UK? Are they from the UK? Whoa. There they are. No, they're American? Oh. That's what I thought. That's free. That's pretty awesome, though. I'm, uh... I'm glad you got to see him. I bet you that was an amazing show. You're probably underplaying how good it was. By the way, cheers. Don't forget to drop a like, by the way. Oh yeah, it was unreal trying to upload all the vids I got, but Facebook ain't having it. <laughs> no. They had two pint cups. Ooh. I know what you mean, though, about uh, Facebook. I've tried to send clips I get through Messenger. If <clears throat> any of them are more than, like, I don't know. 40 seconds, it won't send. No! They ran. You know what? This is all your fault. Stupid plants! Two pint... Two pint cups. They're pretty big, right? Isn't one pint good? So a two pint cup would be ginormous. That stupid rose wasn't... If it wasn't interfering. I don't know what's closest for here. Probably up here because I can just go down the mountain. Down the mountain. <laughs> and that doesn't work because now is no longer day. All right, I have a plan. No one said it was a good plan, but I have a plan. I'm gonna rest until evening. Once it's evening, I'll fly down and I'll be there when it turns night. What did you get in your pint? Like what's, what is <clears throat> like the standard drink down there? Your standard beer, because that's probably what's cheapest. They probably don't have a lot of options at a concert either, do they? Go 
If I could have just caught the last one, but there were so many things going on. Ah. Jolly good. You think the professor's British? By the way, cheers again. Two pint cups were huge, and they had Carlsberg. Shit, I don't know what a Carlsberg is. I assume it's pretty good, or at least it's beer. You know, for me, beer is mostly beer. Six pounds a pint? Oh, Jesus. Honestly, I, you'd have to drink that down real fast so your arms stop being so tired. Right? I mean, like, you're not gonna sit there and hold on to six pounds. But also, six pounds on your bladder sounds like a pretty rough day. Sounds like you're missing a lot of that concert. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Thing is, I jaunt... Jaunt eat... Oh, shouldn't have eaten so much? So like two or three pints had me wobbling. Oh, you didn't eat it much at all, is what you're saying? Six pounds. Oh, currency. Ha! <laughs> uh, that makes sense. I immediately will think of my pounds every time. I can't help it. Look at that old bugger. Why you bawdy eye? How's that? Is that good? Look, I've been watching some really bad reality shows with some British people, some Australians, Wales, South Africa, and I've gotten a really mixed <laughs> um, accents I've been hearing. was so good. Hell yeah. Lizzie Hale's voice on record, on recording is absolutely nothing to how she sounds live. That's fantastic. You know, you never know. Sometimes they're terrible live, so. Glad you had a good experience with it. Um... First couple songs almost had me in tears. Well, was there a lot of people there? Was it like shoulder to shoulder? Was there seats or was it all standing? I've been to maybe two. I'm doing the wrong things here. Two or three concerts ever in my life. I dislike them thoroughly. If only, if only, because I can't stand all the people that close in proximity, it's like a claustrophobia thing. I'm not claustrophobic in like tight spaces, but I just hate being surrounded by that many people being shifted around like I went to uh, 
B.O.B. concert that was on campus at my school. They had them come for free to start off the year. It was pretty cool. Um, and there was a bunch of seats, and there was like eight or so terrible starting acts. And the speakers and the sound system were the schools, and they were terrible. <laughs> And everyone was in their seats, and when B.O.B. got there, everyone started standing up in their seat to get a better view, and that made it terrible. So in order to see anything at all, you had to join everybody by standing up in your seat. Then everyone's pushing around, then he comes in the crowd, and it gets even worse. And I was like, ugh, I hate every second of this. And I remember he came through the crowd, he was on his bouncer's shoulders, right? He's singing with one hand, giving out high fives with the other. And as I go up to get the high five, I'm about to get the very last one he gives out. Dude slaps my hand out of the way and gets another one. I'm like, all right, concerts suck for real. <laughs> so, I am not a fan. Before that, I went to somewhere I was like way up in the nosebleeds and it wasn't that bad. I had most of the area to myself and whatnot. That was okay. I don't like the up close personal and all that. And the sound systems that I dealt with didn't make it any better, so I was like, yeah, you know, this all around sucks. So I haven't had too many experiences, but the ones I had were great. Mike Loot, thank you for the 45 stars. Cheers, how's it going? Those are the first stars I've gotten in like eight days. I'm gonna give you a bigger cheers for that one, cheers. Hell yeah. Josh, you went for the standing tickets? I figured. <clears throat> you seem like the type of guy who'd want to be up front and in all the uh, in the crowd in the mix of things. Not as much me. <laughs> At work still? Farm, right? Farm's keeping you busy? Well, hell yeah. Don't forget to uh, drop a like, anybody, as well. Like Mike? My man? Look at that. He's way ahead of me. He already knows. I'll do another big cheers. I've almost finished this beer for Mike and Josh here. <laughs> it's delicious. I, You know, I haven't had a beer yet this week. I was having some teas earlier, trying to, trying to be a little healthy. Josh, my man, cheers. Thank you. Like two sips away from being done. Josh, when I first got in, I would have been able to, <laughs> to smell if my girl <laughs> Lizzie farted. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I'll be back after work. Hell yeah, Mike. I'll see you then. You have a good uh, rest of the day at work. Hopefully it's not too bad. My work this week has been pretty fast every day, but it feels slow. Like it's been <clears throat> kind of monotonous lately to the point where like it goes fast if I'm working but if I look at the clock just once the day seems to slow down dramatically I don't know what it is but I don't like it Ooh. oh oh Hey. Yeah, might as well put that away for now. Oh. All right, so we don't have. Oh, excuse me. A full moon. So we're going to just keep. 
resting until nightfall until it's a full moon. We're gonna do this quest first and then, um, actually, I don't know. Yeah, I'll do the quest first because I don't have as much time. No, it doesn't matter. I will evolve Ursaluna, then do the quest. I'm indecisive, but I've decided. That's what I'm gonna do. By the way, uh, this beer's almost done, so I might as well, you know, finish it with you. You've already, you've had two pints. I think I gotta join you here, Josh. Cheers. I do not see the moon. If there is a moon, maybe it's behind the giant space portal. And I would have savored that smell for the rest of my life. Josh. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to wash your nose ever again. Do you wash your nose? Is that a thing in UK? I heard in Wales, they take hand soap put it on their fingers and put it up there and wax. Wax it clean. You know what I mean? There ain't no moon. This game sits on a throne of lies. Oh, and Wales? Wales has a different accent, too. You know what? Every part of the UK over there has a slightly different accent. Like your accents change based on what city you're in. It's crazy. It's crazy. Makes it very hard to copy your accents. Let me just say it is something I strive to do. Marcus, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the like. Ah, hold on. Ah, how have you been? Cheers. I did something big making noise. Oh, there he is. What was your favorite song you heard tonight, though, Josh? That's the question. I haven't listened to Hailstorm in a while. They're pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty good. Marcus, thank you for the uh, shares as well. Happy streaming. Thank you very much. Good to see you stopping in a lot lately. Appreciate you. You might not always see me get to say it. Sometimes you're uh, in and out pretty quick. But I always thank you. I appreciate it. Investigate. Ooh, favorite song? Give me a minute. All right. Do you have it all on video? You got to go through. PP <laughs> What are these? What is this? What is this? They're not saying PP Pie Pie Excuse me, there's a lot of carbonation from these cheers from Mike and Josh and Marcus. P Got all my faves on video tonight. Ooh, either Freak Like Me or Mayhem. Both good options. Both good options. You gotta pick one, though. Flip a coin. And whatever song you want it to be in the air before it comes down, that's your pick. This guy had me investigate whether or not they dance. Silly ass shit. The requests, I tells you, are wild. Out of this world. Oh, before I forget. 
Let's evolve this Ursa Luna, baby. I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> Look at that beast. Hunk of hunk of fur and love. Now, I was going to look for a shiny one, but, well, that's kind of going, going out the window. <laughs> Ms. Hyde is probably my all-time favorite. Oh, okay. Extra kind of said the concert is over. How long was the concert? Sounds like a pretty lengthy event. Double edge, headlong rush, strong and swift. First, you don't succeed, catch up in four hours. Four hours of standing? That's not so bad, but not also that great. Huh. He's gone. Was it four hours of hailstorm or was there was there an axe before? Or after? Was there anyone good before, if there was Axe before? Because sometimes those opening Axe are actually stellar. So that's three things we've gotten done here at the beginning that we've been waiting on. Two quests we didn't have showing up. One was to give the lady 100 medical leaks. I started the quest right before the stream just because I needed to test out if I could even get that going. Second one is to catch these. Oh my god, I almost dropped my controller. Um, these Clefairies. Of which we do almost have the Pokedex entry done. So hey, we got it done for Clefa and Clefairy. Just need to finish it for Clefable. Unknown P here. I know where Q is, so we got element OP. So we'll go get Q, and that should be all of them. 45, 43, 46, 44. Best Roselia here is 45. I've got a feeling that we will not need any of these guys. This is my chopping block. We gotta make some budget cuts. What's your uh, What's your next concert, Josh? Is there any other ones on the horizon?
These guys are more fairy, and these guys are all psychic. They're kind of cute, so we'll put them with the fairies, and these can all stay in the psychics. Why not? Clefable in here. Alright. So now we're gonna go get Q. Four hours of fail hailstorm with like 15 minute break in the middle. That was it? Just hailstorm? That's pretty cool. Also kind of impressive. I'm sure there's a lot of art artists. I know I don't go to a lot of concerts that do these super long form concerts. One moon blast. Oh, we can do that. We can do that before we leave here. Probably. Of course we can. This Luxio right here is lucky. He gets to get moon blasted. I feel like it would be hard to do those four hour concerts, but you know what? They do it. I'm sure somebody longer. Who knows? I think I might have to go. My Facebook keeps closing and reopening, and it's pissing me off. Reset your phone. Try resetting your phone. Also, your phone's not tapping on the home button. You drank a double pint of beer. Anything could be happening. I have that much beer sometimes. My thumb maybe presses some buttons more than I want it to. Scrolling through and it just kind of slides over. Okay. I'm going to put him with the legendaries. He's kind of, you know what? I'm going to do the same with. my man and Polly on here. They're not legendaries, but they're my squad. You know? But the real legendaries down here. My squad mates right here. They're on tour as well, and they've been all over the country the past few days, too. And I drank more than one two-pint beer, and no, it's not me. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I just got to throw it out there. Splendor, Splendor Ferus. It's not Splendorifus or anything. It's Splendiferous. Splendiferous results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Let's report it to the captain. Get me back there. I'm a level 10 recruit. It's about time the people of this village gave me respect. 12, maybe 13 pints? Shouldn't you be... I'm not quite sure how much that is, but shouldn't you be dead? Are you sure that you're uh, still a living person, Josh? Nah, because I'm... Because I'm touching anything when it goes to shit. I find that everything works way worse if I was <laughs> if I was even close to that many pints in. I've definitely like tried to work an Xbox or something before. You're like, oh, I just can't get it to work. What is this garbage thing? Go to sleep, wake up the next day, and everything <laughs> suddenly everything works fine. Oh, holy shit. I might never use those. Nah, I'm British. That's nothing. British don't drink that much, do they? Unless it's Newcastle. I could play a game of Rainbow Six Siege right now. And trust me, I've tried. 
it makes you feel good when you dill do dill when you still do I mix still do into dill when you dill have a good game despite the fact that you've had that many beers or liquor or whatever you've had a lot to drink and you still manage to play really well you feel really good and you're like man I'm amazing and then you keep playing and you get stopped after <laughs> a couple games of success People don't hold on to that kind of success all night. Hey, Heather, what's going on? Thanks for coming back. How are you doing? Don't forget to drop a like while you're here. Cheers. <laughs> we drink a lot. So everybody, you're saying everybody British drinks a lot? You're just going to throw them all under the bus, Josh? <laughs> Oh. You're probably right, though. I think that would be fun. To go over there and join you guys with some drinks. And thank you very much for the like. Cheers. You're good. Nice, nice. Did you catch any new uh, shinies since the last stream? I haven't seen much, but I evolved my Ursa Luna. That felt good right there. Look at him. Oh my god. Enormous. My country is a country of functioning alcoholics. That's true. That's, I believe that, actually. Plus, I'm part Irish. I had no idea, Josh, that you were part Irish. There's no single detail about you, including that red hair and beard of yours that would have gave that away. Oh, man. I'm part Irish, too. Irish, English. I think there was a part Scottish. I don't know. Uh, my sister did, did a DNA test. And whatever she is, I would be exactly the same, so... I'd say it's pretty nice that I don't have to do those tests myself because they're kind of expensive. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever see uh, Josh the Family Guy episode? It was like early on Family Guy, you know, and it was really good back in the day of uh, where the Irish would be without beer. If not, look it up. It's like a 10 second clip and it is so good. If the Irish never invented beer, and, like, by today's date, they would have been super advanced. Um, but instead, they invented beer and just never progressed beyond that point. It was a really funny clip. No, you didn't find any new ones? Well, me neither. Not yet. But I am going to go to this outbreak with these cats here. I might just find one there. If I find a shiny... What's it called? Per ugly. I'll be a pretty happy, uh, pretty happy streamer here. I'm not gonna count my chickens before they've hatched. My last name is kind of a giveaway. That's true. That's true. That doesn't help either. Oh, Brian. You know. UK and England are so close. Alright, UK and England. UK and Ireland, sorry. That you would think there'd be more similarities, but the red hair, any name with an O in it, like that, yeah, all of it pretty much signals that you're from the uh, different islands. And it's crazy. It's crazy that there's those many genetic and name differences. Despite how close it is. It's also pretty funny that Northern Ireland is still independent.
Also, I can say my disappointment is through the roof right now that not one of these were shiny. Good news is, we have caught nearly every one of them. Oh my god, this cat. It's funny though, my beard is more ginger than my hair. That is interesting. You know what? My beard has like three flavors, maybe four flavors in it. It's got a little orange, there's a little black, there's a little brown. There's kind of like shades to it. If it gets long enough, you can definitely see them all. And once in a while, not often, there's occasionally a gray. My dad's side of the family, they, they keep their hair for a long time. We never go bald, but they gray early. I don't have the graying early quite as bad. Just once in a while, maybe something will come in. But, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. So I find it interesting. The orange doesn't come through into my beard until it is long, though. Like, if it's short, you only see kind of like a dark brown. But it happens. It happens. So I know what you mean there, Josh. <laughs> What's the sad part? All of that? My hailstorm vids won't upload and you've got gray hairs on your head? I, I think I occasionally get them on the sides, maybe in the back. I'm told by others, but others might just be mean. I don't know. There he is! Goromo! Was that good? Was that a good English accent? I know it wasn't, but you can tell me it was. And I'm only 26. It does seem to happen by your like mid-20s. By your mid-20s as a male um to your 30s you do start to gray and or bald um because i've seen people i've got friends my age who have just shaved their whole head because they started to bald and they just didn't want to deal with that anymore also i have another peat block do i have another peat block or does one peat block infinitely all you need does it not burn when you... Does it not burn when you use it? I don't know. Had them for about three years or so. Oof. I remember in fourth grade, I once was told I had a gray hair. Those mean-ass kids laughed at me. If I just got another peep black also, I don't know how. And I'm shocked. I didn't pay attention to my Ursula Luna Doug. Yes, all of them feel sad. Well, keep trying. They should upload. Heather, you'll be 29 in four months. Ooh, well, er happy early birthday. That's exciting. I will be... too old. <laughs> um, in November. I'll just say that. I don't want to say how old... <laughs> But too old is definitely the right answer. Hmm.
All right, well, bye. I don't want to get any older, so I'm just going to stay the same age I am for the rest of my life. I'm going to be one of those people. You know the moms that always say they're 20? I'm going to do that. Unknown is complete! We've done it. we finished. Finito is a word I want to use here. Okay. Sora Quinn, thank you very much for the uh, heart react in the Pokemon Legends Arceus group. Cheers. So now, <clears throat> unless I'm missing something, and I don't think I am, this goes by eights. So long as it's a multiple of eight, we're good here. Oh, I have a concern. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, which is good. 72, also good. And then it doesn't quite hit 80. Oh, because I'm missing 79. 79 is a balloon race. It's the only one I'm missing so far. <gasps> I do have an extra peat block. What if... What if? Let's stay with me here. What if I can get a shiny Teddy Ursa? I can evolve it into a shiny Ursa Luna. I'm going to do it. Because you don't, like, just find Ursa Lunas. Eh, maybe I won't help that person out of that bag. I've been helping out a lot of people, but at some point, people stop, gotta, gotta stop getting knocked out. It's really not hard. I've died maybe four or five times. And most of it's from falls. Surprising how people die in certain places where there's nowhere to fall. I guess the Braviary, you could fall anywhere, huh? up the right tree. Alright, you saw nothing. There definitely wasn't a giant bird just hoisting a small to medium-sized human. just spawned if that was a shiny that just spawned was uncatchable and ran away I would have been very upset all right so we absolutely massacred catching their population where are you running I just heard something go clink clink. 
Oh, there's a champ over there. Guy get his bag, but that's it. After that, we won't get the other two bags. It's only a moment of charity, that's all it is. The other two bags, somebody else will have to get. So much lost stuff. And who's Girl Turtle? Without any capital letters. Who who names themselves? Girl Turtle. Wouldn't Turtle Girl be better? <laughs> now I'm no turtle expert. Turtle person expert, we should say. But if I was, I would say the name is just wrong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eleven, no shinies. So if. <clears throat> I'd say it's roughly one in every four outbreaks you get a shiny. We've done two outbreaks already. If um, I manage to do two more today, it'll be a test to see if one of them has a shiny for us. Outbreak, I don't really care about these two. So we're just gonna move on. We'll we'll loop back to it. We'll loop back to it. We're at two. We need to try two more. Not too hard. We can do that. Oh my lost bags. So intimidating. Please stop looking at me with those giant eyes. Alright, ready for the big boss battle against Avalog? I think, I think that's what we're about to do. Oh. I think he said something, something about my mother, so we gotta fight him. Saloon just looks so tired all the time. Except for when it does strong style. It looks slightly awake for that moment. Kind of like it's scared. Headlong rush and double edge. Okay, I have not been doing the right moves.
Let's go. Cheers, everybody. That went rather smooth. Yep, Captain Shirtless. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? You're going to tell me what he just told you right in front of him? <laughs> you want to hear what he just told me? Check this out. Kayla, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. If anyone else feels like doing it as well, feel free. Quick click. It does a lot of good. He barrages you with chunks of ice. Okay, didn't see that coming. He also fires off massive icicles. And cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Oh, you'll be alright. It's like he's sending me to die. I know it's a giant ice mountain creature sends sharp icicles from all over, under you, above you, but side to side. You'll be fine. You're a 15 year old kid. You've got this. And you can't use any Pokemon to help you out unless it's already weakened. Got it. Thank you. Let's do this request first. We'll pop back in. Oh, it's the ice balloons. All right, perfect. Hell yeah. Oh my lord. Kayla, Diane, thank you so much. Appreciate 269. What a hilarious uh, and odd number. Hi. Uh, stars, cheers. Hey, Jan, thank you very much for the like as well. Cheers. How are you doing? I have taken so many screenshots on accident. I'm terrible about that. <clears throat> also, um... Can I just cheers you? I'm pretty sure I did, Ejan. Anyway, cheers. If I didn't, it was for the hilarious 69 in those uh, amount of stars. What? Well, I'm a legend at this. Ejan, thank you for the new share, too. I'll cheers you again in just a second here. Appreciate you. This is, this is an interesting. No, oh, that's an loss. Might as well learn the course here. EJ, and if you want to go for the uh, triple crown as well, feel free to drop a follow. Appreciate it. How are you doing, by the way? You a big fan of uh, Pokemon? You like this game? This is an absolutely crazy course. No, what? Oh, 
Alright, if I complete this, it's gonna be a miracle. Darn, I think it was like four away. Anyway, cheers, thank you for the shares. Hell yeah, you Jim. Three nuggets? Oh. How many is them all? 50. I was real close. So if I didn't if I didn't script that uh, the Bass Legion Bass Legion part there and maybe this camera wasn't instantly turning. I know, I know. Sure, blame the camera, but come on. Just restart it. Just restart it. The camera starts to flip as soon as you get in there. I don't know if the camera, sometimes, if it's just auto-targeting Pokemon near you or something, or why it starts to flip sometimes. Maybe it's trying to move around the hills around you or something. But it definitely screws you up. Like, this starts to turn every time right, which doesn't help. So you just gotta flip it back, but I don't necessarily know when it's going to happen. We'll keep trying. We won't end this run just yet, but... Don't like that. Oh. You know, the last one, not that... Was it the Cobalt? Um... Shores one or whatever. That one took me a couple runs to go because I didn't know about the double jump. This time I know all the moves. I just strongly dislike uh, having to accurately do the double jump. This is it, though. This is the run. I can feel it. Oh, shit. All right, all right, all right. That didn't just happen. I'm not trying to end it. All right, I'm I'm trying to end it. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. <laughs> Uncanny, what up, what up? Cheers. Thank you for the like. How are you doing? I did so good on my first try. And I've just been straight trash ever since. I guess pretty much just because I know what I have to do, so I keep starting over if I screw up. I was, what, 
was I six or four away? Something along those lines. Uh, the first time, so I just need a little bit more perfection. Manage that. It should be good. No. Oh, my God. do I keep doing this? I'm pressing because I'm pressing pause. Or pause. Um, plus. Immediately. In an attempt to switch off for a second. Because that's just what I do when I'm playing normally. And that ends it and it throws off your rhythm. I'm going to ask you excuse me if you want to end it. I don't like that. Should be a different button. Damn stupid hands. You can't figure out the, the buttons. After so many years of Xbox and Switch having literally the exact same buttons just flipped around, it really messes with you. I'm sure I'm not alone in that. This demands so much perfection. A level of perfection that is honestly painful. But I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Levon, thank you very much for the like. How are you doing? Cheers. Appreciate you. Apologize for any cussing I'll do during this. Really frustrating. No, no. Did I just lose three seconds?
every time. It's just such a force of habit. What is the? What is this camera doing to me? Did you see that camera? The camera flipped me all the way around. This game is trying to screw me. I need. I'm gonna have my mother. My mother will send such a strongly worded letter to Nintendo about this. You have no idea. It'll have the fire of a thousand suns behind that letter. They're gonna change some things. You're gonna see some updates. These damn cameras. Why are they changing? Why are they flipping around? Why are they doing this? It's unnecessary, I tell you. No. Let me guess. Three point. Three seconds. Despite all the frustrations, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the run. Haven't found any shinies yet, have they? They're out there. They're out there. I haven't found either, uh, any either, but they're coming. It's only a matter of time. They really are a numbers game, though. Almost more than luck. Just about how many you're running into. Okay, okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. I can see it now. This is it. This is the win. Alright, press the right buttons, damn it. Oh my god, the last one bobs. I didn't I didn't even see it. I thought I was going straight for it. And then it bobbed right down. Where is this madness? You sir, you have cheated me for the last time. This balloons guy. This balloons guy, he is uh rat scallion? He's a cheat. A dirty bird. You know, what doesn't describe him in his balloon game? Okay, I didn't lose the three seconds from falling. So I'm hoping this mess up just kind of equates to that mess up. And that I'm gonna have enough time. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing fantastic. Amazing, better than ever. I almost pressed the wrong button again. Hold back 
back the tears. Okay, let's do it one more time. This is gonna break me as a as a human being. <laughs> Getting to 49 twice. Okay. If I just eliminate that one mistake of the Basque Legion jump and not falling here because I accidentally bring out Braviary. The key to that jump is to wait a second. I didn't even mean to do that. Oh my god. What have I done? I'm all over the place. Okay. This is all. <sighs> I didn't see the writing on the wall on that one. Three great balls. Don't patronize me. This is going to be the whole stream at this rate. If that thing attacks me and slows me down, I swear to God. Alright. He's going to have to swear to me. I'm just waiting for one of these things, one of these mons along the way to be shiny, and it'll be my best time ever, and I'm just going to have to stop and try to catch it midway. And then I'm going to stop, and it turns out I can't even catch him because I can't even dismount. It's all going to be for nothing. Uh, no. That's frustrating. The imperfections piling up here. I'm also getting to the bottom of these balloons. Don't like that. Normally I'm at 24 when I start that straight. I was at 26. I got two extra seconds. Maybe. Maybe a second and a half. Normally I'm about seven seconds when I get to these. About seven. Oh! I got to it, but I was too low! <laughs> no! This is a fucking joke. Gigaton balls. My ass. Cheers. Forty-nine three times. Really? It's hard to tell when you're dive bombing for that last boom because the angle that you're looking at. I'm gonna have the world record by the time it's over. It's gonna be so good. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's my hands. My hands have memorized this whole course. I could do it blind. Not really, though. My fingers do have this pretty well memorized. I 
I had to look down for a second to make sure I didn't dive bomb. I've got like a lot of extra time right now. Like, pfft. let's see here. D oh, double what I normally do, and then I fucked up. I can't believe I just did that. I was so happy. I was so excited. I'm way ahead. I got the final balloon for the first time. And I accidentally dive bomb and miss one? This is the, this is the worst. That was the worst two minute run of my life. If only because it ended that way. It was actually the best run I've ever had. <sighs> Alright, deep zen. We're gonna we're gonna get through this. Camera, please. Okay, okay, we got just as good a time as we did last time. No screw ups, fingers figured out. Have to talk to these damn hands sometimes. Oh! Like four seconds to spare. Woo! Definitely a balloon bursting boss. Three more nuggets than the first three nuggets he gave me. It was worth it. It was worth it. All the stress and the turmoil and, um, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into that. <sighs> we did it. Us together as a stream. We we have conquered the balloon course. Uh, times couldn't be better. I don't have a trophy, but what I do have is a cheers for everybody. Cheers. Thank you for being here for the special moment where we've thoroughly thrashed the balloon course. And now we'll be taking on the boss. Ryan, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. Hey, appreciate it. Now let's take on this boss. After we waste some great balls on this Machamp, obviously. Oops, well, that is unfortunate. Oh, and the follow, Ryan. Hell yeah, cheers. How are you doing, man? Really appreciate that. 
241. We're moving on up. We're getting real close to that bull. Oh, uh, bull. Grohl. Go, Grohl. Words are getting progressively harder. Goal. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate it. Every follow counts. All right. So we are to quell Avalug as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings went out. That's right. It's all from right in here. Using the heart of the cards and other stuff. I couldn't think of another different anime reference to use, but they're out there. God, he's working out again. Kind of weirds me out when he does it. There you have it. Some bombs. Good, thanks. I hope you are well, man. I don't have a Switch, but this game looks really nice. Oh, hell yeah. If you get one and you're a fan of Pokemon at all, this is probably the top game I've ever played on the Switch. It's so fun. I just got it randomly on a weekend. I know this is the first time I've streamed my Switch. Just something I kind of was playing for fun on the side, and holy shit. Um, and. I became instantly addicted and I was like, well, I need to play this as much as I can, so we might as well play it on the stream. Also, what the? So I would highly recommend it. What am I supposed to... I'm not seeing <laughs> I'm not seeing these well I'm going way too early oh. my god I may as well be playing Elden Ring right now the thing is so most of these boss battles like this they've been attacking people they've been hurting people they're bad this one hasn't been bad, it hasn't hurt anyone, and I'm just wondering why I'm here. You don't need to do this. Avalug seems like a good guy. Good man. Let's just let him go. Holy shit. Thank you, Ursaluna. You will no longer be a part of this victory. You're out of here. Still very close to death. I don't know if I'm gonna heal up. I was literally, I was this close to saying, wow, if I do this on the first try, wouldn't that be amazing? All right, give me, <clears throat> give me one minute. I'm going to go to the bathroom after doing all these cheers. Uh, just one minute. I'll be right back, and we're going to take this thing on. We're going to beat it. Second try, guaranteed.
I'm back. It was a minute, right? A minute flat. Whew. I'm out of breath too. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's locked and loaded. Let's go. You can straight continue. You can just pretend like you didn't lose and come right back. Nah, we can't do that. Not until we've lost a lot. Oh, right into it. He's so good. We'll just put out our best at this point. against Typhlosion. As close as possible. That way there's at least time between my hand and hitting him. And get the most in that way. Oh, well that's not the right way. Oh! I had one more. Oh, I got him! I got him! <laughs> I thought he had me. It was doing the blinking, the little alarm noise. Thought it was over. But we got him. Welcome back. Holy hotcakes and pancakes. We got him. That is the biggest creature we have seen so far. By far. It's absolutely mountain sized. In the Pokedex, it does call them literally like a mountain something Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. I got one in a trade when I first started the game. I was like, this isn't even that big. I was wrong. I'll admit that. That one is mountain sized. I'm moving too fast for these texts and anyone cares to read them. Let me know. But, uh. Most of it really doesn't matter. I think it's a lot of filler text. People telling me about how good I am. Oh, you quell the mountain. No big deal, no big deal. Just threw a bunch of pouches at him.
See if he cracks a smile. Not bad. Not bad. Just saying. Oh, my God. Do my eyes to see me? I've somehow missed it in my craziness there. Kassan, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Cheers. I somehow missed this. I'll, I'll do a bonus cheers. I'll finish this for you. Cheers. It wasn't much to finish. Like three gulps. No big deal there. I want to do some selling, actually. So these things add up to a lot. You don't really need them. Might as well sell them. I mean, the Master Seeds, you can literally just level it up a little bit more, and it'll master basically all the moves. Saluna is one move away from being done. So we're just gonna pick on this poor little snore run. Sorry, mate. And we're out of here. So Ursaluna is cool, but Probably not stay in my party cool, you know, if maybe, maybe if it was, um, shiny, maybe I would have kept it. Oh, wait, hold on, you're the wrong one. I love the Electivire, he's amazing, but... He's the first one to sit. Garchomp, honestly, my second favorite. Typhlosion's my first, so he's got a little importance, he's got to stay. Pollyanna Torterra, just badass, his spirit tomb's pretty good, and... Shiny Scizor, you're not gonna have him sit. Most illuminating. Not bad. Let's talk to ye old commander here. You didn't. You didn't lose your sister again. My god, this guy. They're just the worst. Oh, now he's gonna go get lost. Wait, she's here? Now we gotta find the brother? Oh, no! That's a really funny twist on this whole thing. 
real funny that now you've got to go him get him. I like this. This is actual like architectural uh, schematics that they probably wouldn't have had at this time. You can see the little squares with the little swinging in there. Those are the doors. No windows. No windows. They're not on the schematics. And in case you didn't know, if you played this before, there's a door right there that'll take you to the roof as well, inside his office. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them have been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see you put an end to it. <laughs> and I think peace would be restored to his way by the hands of our mysterious Riftborn helper. People fear Pokemon. What? Why? How could this be? That's it, we beat the game, I guess. She seemed real happy about that. day tomorrow. Should be good. Bakum. What's happening hop happening? Well, that's a nice quest. It's as though we've made a mistake. He looks happy, confused. I've word from the commander, you're supposed to go get word from him. So he really didn't tell you jack shit.
hard accusations. That's kind of a jerk. Oh, rude as fuck. I'm a 10 star captain. There's nobody else who's a 10 star. Nobody. Consider myself banished? This dude's crossing lines. He couldn't put me in chains if he wanted to. Captain's acting a lot like, uh, kind of a monster. A little bit of a dictator here. Why won't you guys talk to me? Talk to me! Sell me things. This is really ridiculous. They're really kicking me out. No one will even talk to me. That is my Pokemon! I caught that! I don't even get these things. And they believe the propaganda? This is... This is something else. This whole village, this whole village is nothing without me, and they're going to kick me out. Craziness. Mike, you're back? What's happening? Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers to your fine uh, return here. How are you doing, buddy? Work's over? I've been banished for helping these people simply because I'm different. Look. Couldn't get any worse. The prejudice for us people that fall from the sky is ridiculous. Yep, it's a good thing I have tomorrow night off. Oh, nice, nice. What are you going to do tomorrow night? Going to be doing some uh, Rainbow Six Extraction? Going out? Got big plans? What's happening? Watch the stream, perhaps? Pool League. Ooh. Are you any good at pool? Are you just playing for fun? Um, I played maybe a month ago for the first time in well over a year. And me and my girlfriend played. It was the first time we had played together ever. She barely had ever plays either. 
in our first game we played against a couple of people who play regularly and we won in I don't know like four or five turns it was amazing I, I just went up there and I said it's easy it's all about geometry I got half the balls in <laughs> and then my girlfriend got the other half in and like the next turn it was fantastic Which was great because again I never play but it is it really is a lot of geometry you know just understanding angles not hard 25 wins this season is that a lot I hate to ask I don't know I actually don't know how many games are in a season, typically? I guess that'll tell us what's the percentage. I'm going to take it from the confidence, though, that that's a lot. Thursdays we play four games a night. Oh, okay. So if that's the case, you've maybe lost three games this season. There's probably been 28 games. You're out there giving everyone the sauce. Taking names and dumping eight balls. You got like a 97% win average if I'm not right let me know you're on the low end of the league so there's a lot of people who are doing oh a little bit better you know I once did a badminton league in college Love badminton. Grew up playing it all the time. But I always played a nice, fair game. I went two for... Who knows how many games we played. 20 games, maybe. Went two for 20. People were dirty. People cheated. And they were also severely better than me. Some people were severely better than me. Some people were dirty. Some people cheated, for sure. If it would hit a line, it's technically inbounds, and people go, nope, it's out. You know, and there's one referee watching 10 games happen at once. Couldn't exactly ask a referee to come over. They didn't see it. There's no instant replay. And the whole thing was literally based on you being honest and honorable. And there was just a lot of people who cared more about winning than actually winning. And actually winning the right way athletically and whatnot. And it was sad. But, while we were the second worst team in the league, our two roommates, there was four of us, it was two roommates and two roommates. The other roommates didn't win any. Our two wins the whole season were against them. So, we had that. The top guys has around 120 wins. Holy shit. Okay, that's a lot. So at this point, it's just for fun. Just to be social, have a couple beers, maybe some wings, and play some pool. That's not so bad though. It's just good fun. Uh, what I like a lot for bar games is darts. 
I'm a bit of a darts prodigy. Never lost, except for that one time I lost. That doesn't even count. So, Girl Turtle. Girl Turtle's died twice? How many times is Girl Turtle gonna die tonight? Girl Turtle, if you're watching, stop doing what you're doing. Keep playing the game, stop dying. Keeping me too busy here. We shot them on their own table. I'm the only one who got two wins that night. Oh. It does feel good to get uh, wins, I'm sure, against the top guys. It's kind of like you win. Through the transit of property, you are the best now, right? My guy is so depressed and confused. He just doesn't understand. And nobody from the other villages who could help you refused to help you. Besides, you'll be fine on your own, right? I'll remember this. I'll remember this for all of you. You know, this is how Team Galaxy goes bad. I'm going to take over and destroy them out of vengeance and uh, take it over. Take over the whole clan. Destroy Pearl, destroy Diamond for their insolence. And, uh, yeah, they had this coming. They got this coming. All of them. Each and every one. It's a Pokemon game that's about to go real dark real fast. <clears throat> Mike, you probably have more wins if you are able to play every Thursday. But the boss man's daughter has sports games. Ah. Well, that's all right. As long as your win percentage is high, right? You don't need to stack the most wins so long as the majority of the games you play are wins. All right, you get to you get to live in my new village that I take over, Volo. I'm at my average is two out of four a night, fifty percent. It's not bad. Probably teams. Averaging 25% or zero. Can't be anyone averaging zero, but I'm sure. You know, some of that game is luck, too. I mean, skill can overcome a lot of luck in that game, but... Oh, excuse me. Oh, double excuse me. Just a space distortion. I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Isn't that the worst, Heather? The good thing is you can always take away a couple evolutionary items. Um, some of the, what are they called, tablets or whatever. You get a lot of good items out of it at least. Always a pleasure, Mistress Gogeta.
It's getting too real. When Pokemon starts doing space and time stuff, we might as well just call it Marvel. Alright, lady, I'm just a kid. Take it easy on me. Don't understand space time rifts. Cheers. You know, either I feel like most space time rifts are space distortions. Get my wires crossed to you. I don't find what I want. Early on, I was finding a lot of good stuff, but generally, I don't find anything that great. Took you to the fuck on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh... It's been a bit crazy here. Honestly, that's where I was going with it at first. <laughs> and then I switched to, uh, I don't understand space and time. I was like, maybe I should, uh, PG it down, but since you said it. <laughs> I probably, I probably said it in such a way because I was about to say that too. That kind of led you, <laughs> led you thinking there, or maybe you just had the same thought. I don't know. That's so bad. It's so bad, but really funny. Gotcha. <laughs> You did get me good. I wasn't going to say it, so. <laughs> Whoa. So I don't understand what's the importance of this lady, but. Oh, well. You get a new reaction here? Oh, that's it. I'm like, pff, it says 11 over here, but I didn't see it pop up. And sometimes if it's a, a hard, a ha ha, crying care, mad, it won't pop up. So Sam, Thank you for the like and the share. Cheers, cheers. Mike. I will because me no care about other feelings. <laughs> it, the sentence structure got me there. Me no care about other feelings. Oh, that's really funny. I love it. That's the point. I thought so. I love it. So they literally kicked me out. The nobles are all chill and everything because the sky is red? What kind of ancient civilization bullshit is this? It's like, oh, we've had thunder too many times. The gods are mad. We gotta kill Martha now. Sorry. Sorry. 
Oh. It wasn't as many craps as we thought. Carl's gotta go. Fucking Aztecs. Let's just pull out his beating heart. So that way we can have more crops. This is some kind of crap here. Ooh. Choose whose help you want. Um. I pick you. Of course you'll choose me. I'll just pick you because the other guy kind of weirds me out. Leftover. Because he meant what I knew. That's right. Alright, look at that. I've bonded the clans. Yeah, I knew the three lakes had something going on. Four pages of nothing but alphas. I've got a good amount. But I don't know, because I sort everything how many I've actually got. Alright, before we continue here... I think I've got, I've got pretty close to one elf of everything that in some of those alphas I've evolved, but if I haven't, I haven't went out of my way to hunt them, or they're just not straight up on the map. If you gotta hunt them, they're just kind of random. Time to see how many viewers I'll get while playing Dauntless tonight. Oh, you stream as well? Nice. Dauntless, that's the one with giant monsters, right? I never played it. I downloaded it once, but I've downloaded hundreds of games I've never played. Because they were free. And so, now I've stopped doing that. Because I just... I'll never get to a lot of them. But I'll be right back. One minute. like monster hunter it's kind of what i thought nice you stream a lot you get a lot of views you've been doing it long you do it kind of sporadically you got a schedule i got all the questions none of the answers it's got it's a, like a multiplayer one too isn't it No, 
I'm gonna start at the top of the mountain. Come down. This must be like more end game. Cause I still can't go up there, I don't think. Let's try. Usually have one constant viewer. Well, nice. I mean, that's not bad. I sat at zero for a long time, especially when I was on Twitch. Twitch, it was like never ending sitting on zero. I have like 16 people who stop by in all three hours if I was lucky. And Facebook. Facebook's been um, insanely better. You stream on Facebook or are you on Twitch? Or possibly YouTube. I think there's other options. I just don't know what they are. You stream on Twitch? Oh, shit. I mean, Twitch is good. It's got a good platform. But if you're, um... newer to streaming it's terrible it only pushes <clears throat> people who are uh, already popular which isn't too bad if you're in a game that doesn't have a lot of people playing it you know if you're the one of the only five guys on Dauntless You'll see some success. You don't have a setup to do all the other streams? Oh, you don't have like the camera and the mic and all the extra stuff? So you stream through your Xbox or PlayStation? Stream through the Twitch app on there? Not gonna lie, it is a lot of equipment, software, and hardware you need to get all this stuff set up and going. Xbox? Nice. You used to be able to do, um... Oh, what's it called? Mixer on there, and that worked really well. On Twitch... I don't know if they fixed it, but the only mic you could use was, uh, oh, what do they call them? The connects. The connect was the only mic and headphone. Oh, well, maybe not mic, but it was the only camera you could use. It was the only camera you could use for sure. Yeah, buddy stream Dauntless and some Elden Ring. Nice. You can use headset mics. Okay, I thought... That's what I thought after I started talking. I was like, I'm, wait. It's the camera. You could use other cameras if you were on Mixer. Once Mixer went, they still blocked Twitch from being able to use other cameras. For whatever reason. I don't know why.
we're gonna wait for space time. But it's like it's good at least you can use your headset, Mike. What kind of headset do you got? Let me tell you, I've got two kinds I've been using for the last ten years almost. And they're really good. Astros. Yeah, well, you can kind of tell a pair of Astros when you see them. Um, I had the A50s, I believe, which are the wireless ones, for like six, eight years. Um, they worked great, but every once in a while there was kind of like a little buzzing noise. It was barely a problem. Um, I'd still be using them today if it wasn't for Astros having issues with streaming. You cannot use wireless Astros... Um, or wireless headsets at all if you want to pick up people in game chat. So say you're playing with randoms in Call of Duty or Apex or Fortnite. On Xbox, you cannot pick up their audio unless you use a chat link cable uh, on Elgato. And the only way to use one of those is by having a wired Hence why this is wired. Um, headset. You gotta actually plug it in. Rig 700s? Oh, nice. Those are pretty good. I think they're pretty good, right? I'm pretty sure I remember seeing the rig name. If you don't mind, I can uh, comment my Twitch. You can comment it? What do you mean? What do you mean? I probably don't mind. Saying you want me to come there and leave some comments? You're saying you're gonna comment? Why is it green? My stream that you're there? Oh, slow down there, Scyther. But uh, I otherwise I have that I use on my Xbox when I'm not doing it. Steel Series. Uh, wireless. I forget the exact name, but they're fantastic. Oh, is that good luck with rigs? I almost, if I'm, if I'm remembering right, I almost got a rig. Um, is one of my last headsets, but uh, I really wanted the Steel Series. I had heard a lot of good things about it. You can plug it in. You can <clears throat> go wireless. It uh, also is one of the only headsets that I know of that you can have it wirelessly Bluetooth to your Xbox. By the way, if I turn this headset on, it automatically turns on my Xbox like the same as turning on a controller. Um... but it can also Bluetooth to your phone. So I can listen to music uh, as well as play at the same time, which is great. And you can definitely do that on your Xbox anyway through the Spotify app, but then it plays through the stream. So specifically for me in my situation and not play copyrighted music through the stream that Facebook will kick my stream off for or stop sharing me to people entirely so nobody will know that I'm on. Um... That headset is perfect. And you listen to tunes, relax, play some of the games, and get the game audio. It's fantastic. Love it. Sometimes it disconnects me a little bit, which, by the way, the Astro A50s, I don't remember ever having any issues with it ever disconnecting. So they were like the cream of the crop for wireless that I've had. But the Steel Series is real nice and some of those benefits are insane. Gonna find me a shiny doo doo Gonna capture him when I find him all the doo-dah I screwed this whole thing up. 
That looks different. Sir, are you different? I'll take that as you're not different. Let's go! Heather, you're gonna try to organize your pastures? Nice, nice. It takes a while, I'm sure. I've been doing it since the beginning just because... Because, uh, that's what I'm used to. I've been doing since... I've been doing that since... At least Ruby and Sapphire, maybe before. Two reasons. I've got OCD. Not terrible OCD. Just bad enough where it makes me have to organize. Um... And secondly, because in Ruby and Sapphire, you could change the backgrounds of your different boxes. So that way you could kind of put them where they belong. Put the grass types in the grass and some open field ones out in the open field. Alright, listen here, you little bastard. Mike, okay, I'm going to sign off here so I can use my phone to manage my stream. Catch you later. Hey, it's been a pleasure, sir. Thank you for coming back, and we'll see you next time. Good luck on the stream. One last cheers to Mike. Yeah, this thing's gonna be harder to kill than it is to catch. Me thinks, so I'm just gonna try to catch it. Probably go down on this ball. The next ball. I don't have anything that's particularly super effective against it yet. Maybe one of these guys do. if we just catch it. Let's just see. Yeah? Much easier than killing him for some reason. are gonna hurt me as well. I don't want that because he's already kind of weak. Prepare to get pumped. Alright, that came off a little different than I thought it was going to. Either way. Space time distortions yet? This might be the largest level of shenanigans I've ever seen.
I'm trying to do that, but too late. I'm trying to get out, uh, the old bird. But, if you wait to the last second, like two feet above the ground, it is el no bueno. Oh no, Volt, but who could have foreseen this? Me. I foresaw it. I knew this would happen. Did it anyway. Nonetheless, we will destroy this Torb. Got a real bad case of the yawns tonight. That was an interesting mud shot. The fact that it was tracking me through the air like that. That's a second Alpha Gligar. I like that he refuses to stop acting like a tree. Is there not going to be a time distortion at this point? This is getting a little ridiculous. I have spent a pretty good amount of time here. If I can fly all the way back down, there's no time distortion. There ain't gonna be one. At least until this whole thing's over with. So it looks like I have to keep returning to the ancient retreat and then go back out from here. And shiny Gligar could be pretty cool. You can do a quick and head right back, right? I don't expect I'll be able to fully finish this quest tonight, anyway. We still have today's Wednesday, right? We still have tomorrow. And 
light of this new information, should be able to have plenty of time to finish the story then. Oh, this isn't the first time I found these guys. Got two of them. Got two of them. I feel like they're like... Oh, what are they? They're ground, and I thought bugs. But the bug weakness is getting negated by the ground. on me, buddy. Cheers. Bunch of wankers. Oh, look, another one. Oh, look, they have a cape troll. Okay, I didn't want to destroy your entire family, but now we have to. Attacks coming to man size. What's going on here? the end of the outbreak? That was it? It's kind of a pathetic outbreak.
Okay, the Glizgars are all chopped liver. The nose passes are ready to go. The Raptors Dunsey. See you later, get him out of here. All right. So this must be the sixth area. There's any more. You can try to get another magic carp here or tactical. But the dew, probably not. If we get the magic carp, we can do that lake. But the tentacle. Let's do the magic carp. Or the tentacle. I chose tentacle. There's gonna be one. I've done. Have I done four outbreaks now? Nose pass. Oh, yeah. I've done four. So, uh, the odds are not in our favor at the moment. This is going to be a bit of a big deal. Oh, this cave is open. I didn't see this cave before. Looking if there's any magbees, any shinies. Looks like the answers are resounding. No, Bob. We'll get this bag and we'll come back up and check the cave. Hey, Brian, what's going on? What's up, man? How are you doing? How's your night going? That's where Heatran is? I don't know that one, so that'll be... Interesting. Let's see, is he in here? Will he say hi? What's going on, Brian? Hey, while you're in here, feel free to drop a like. Cheers. Great, how about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Now, what are these little bubbles? Oh, balls of mud. Nice. Doing fantastic. I have uh, broken the universe here. Hey, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. I've been exiled from the village in this game. Out my own. And I've decided I'm going to <laughs> overthrow the civilization. <laughs> Enjoying the game? Oh, heck yeah. This game has been amazing. I can't say that it's any less than addicting. You know, when I first started playing this, it was just going to be like a fun side game to play a little bit of here and there on the weekends when I wasn't around my streaming stuff. And it was so fun, it became a stream game, so... Uh, I've had a blast the whole time, and I've been playing this for like three or four weeks now. Still got more to do. How about you? You playing this one? When they're addicting, no, they're good. Oh, hell yeah. So I just started playing this, and then everyone's playing that Elden Ring game now. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can play that one. That one... <laughs> So far, it looks great, too. Haven't played it yet? What's the name? Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
over on the switch. If you're a fan of Pokemon, it's amazing. If not, I can't promise anything. I can promise it's still a fun game. Dang, no shinies. I have not had luck. What I'm trying to do is there's these outbreaks and occasionally, very rarely, there's uh, shiny versions of uh, the Pokemon where they're a different color. They're super, super rare, but uh, when you get them, it's just so exciting. So, I'm trying to hunt them down a little bit. I used to be, then I started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh just didn't get as popular. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um... I played and collected a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. Back when I was in like fourth grade when it first came out. For about a year or two. I played a lot. I was very into it. So, I like the... like. All the cards and stuff from the first two seasons. Which, at this point, they're so far past that now, but... That was like the middle 2000s. It was fun. Oh, hell yeah. I remember in college, just for fun, uh, it was like Thanksgiving break or something. Me and my roommates, we all used to play it. So we all went home and we got all our old cards out and played. It was fun to play it again, I'm not going to lie. You remember the rules and whatnot pretty quickly. However, you've got to watch out. I'm a one roommate. Kenny? Kenny, I'm sorry. But I still believe that you're cheating if you watch. He had all five pieces of Exodia. And let me tell you, he won playing all five pieces safely more than once. It was suspicious, to say the least. I mean, yeah. Did I stack my deck when I was, like, 12, 2 sometimes? Sure, whatever. But, uh, I had, like, special ones. I had, there was, like, a Red Eyes Black Dragon. <sighs> Some other one. You had to, like, you had to have, uh, there was, like, a baby version of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Black Dragon. And then... Uh, the super version, and you needed all three in order to get them. And <laughs> let me tell you, when you actually shuffle your cards, you don't get that very often. So I had a couple fun ones. I, I had a friend who would also stack his deck. We would both stack our decks however we wanted to, so that way we could do the combos we wanted to do and not just let it be random and see who could win. It was pretty good. It went back and forth a lot. Blue Eyes White Dragon was one, and it was more popular, but there was the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And, uh, whatever the better version of that that there was later on in some super pack I got, that was great. If I'd save my cards, I'd have a fortune today. Yeah, if you sell them one at a time, pfft, you can sell the worst cards for, like, at least a buck. You know, um, and the really good ones for five, ten bucks. Now you've got a couple hundred cards. That can add up. That can add up to a lot. I will say uh, the design on a card, the holographic card of the original Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, is just super appealing to my eyes, though. I don't know if it's the nostal uh, nostalgia, if it's 
just the design, the holographic uh, card or whatever it is, but that original design, love to just look at it. It was amazing. Oh, and they gave me a peak block. That's who it was. That's who it was. I knew it was going to come from a quest eventually. I just didn't know it was going to be, like, the last quest. Mofos pay hundreds watching people open the cards to get the bad ones. Or a Charizard. I have always wanted a Charizard. I never had one. I've considered many times. And it would just be such a waste of money because I don't need it. And it's not going to be any different if I actually have one. But I'm not going to lie, I've considered many times buying one on eBay or something. The, I have two things that have held holding me back every time from buying it. A, that I know it would be a waste of money because they are ridiculously expensive. And B, B's kind of a few things. Is it going to be real? Is the quality going to be any good? I don't know. I don't know. I just have too many... Um, too many things in my mind that could go wrong with it so i've never went out of my way to get one because i never got one originally as a kid it was always really sad because that was like the card you know ah but i would i would get one today if i could somehow some way uh and i have looked up the cards the packs online if you want to buy a pack if you want to buy a pack it costs like original packs hundreds for some of those a sealed pack of pokemon cards original ones insanely expensive i can't believe what people are willing to pay just today i was looking through etsy and just had some things on there um showing just like things that i might be interested in looking through looking through and they had cards and it was like a box of them for 80 bucks or something like that I'm like that's still terrible but let's entertain it let's take a look let's see what uh, the reviews are like I'm looking at it I'm looking at the pictures and it shows it real like way too small fitting in somebody's hand I'm like what the hell what is going on here didn't read the description that well they were mini cards mini versions of the real cards they were selling for a hundred bucks for a box highway robbery also a little bit of trickery because they're not real obviously shenanigans these cards used to mean a lot i know i used to bring them to school every day in my backpack they were outlawed in school and i still brought them because people stole them i had to show them off it was cool i didn't make one major mistake when i was a kid Uh, kid on the bus who's older than me on my way to school uh, offered me for whatever reason one of his Aerodactyl cards super rare he had two he had a holographic and a regular he's like well I'm obviously gonna keep the holographic but do you want the regular one and another kid got super mad and jealous who was older than me and he was like well, you're just gonna give him that you're not even gonna trade for anything <laughs> he's like yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it to him so I was super stoked, I got it, and I was way too young to understand everything, but I got traded the, like, do you want the 20 pennies or the one quarter deal? It's, it's only what you get 20 of these. What, what do you don't get? They gave me, like, 25 crap cards for the Aerodactyl. Never saw an Aerodactyl again. Dumbest thing I ever did. Got handed to me. I still regret it today, and I've never forgotten that weasel. <laughs> Used to have one. Super freaking rare even back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, Charizards were crazy. I don't even collect, but I would save a Charizard. Exactly. I would mount a Charizard on my shelf. I have a shelf of just collectibles, my degree, little trophies I've won and things. I would put a Charizard card in a case and put it on that shelf if I had one. Just to look at once in a while. Just walk over, you look at the shelf of my achievements, and there it is. Charizard. Didn't achieve it, went on my way to buy it. But it would be an achievement. <laughs> Should be half price at least. LOL. <laughs> Me and a group used to trade and play cards in school at breakfast or at lunch. Super nerds. <laughs> That's funny. Well, 
It was fun. I used to play... So... So I didn't have a brother or anything. Uh-oh. Um, my sister was four years older than me. Didn't really care about Pokemon. And I lived out in the country in, like, a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. So I couldn't, like, walk to friends' houses. And you couldn't have cards at school. So... Uh, we couldn't play at school like I wanted to. So I would play, rather sadly, by myself. I would make two decks with the cards I had. And then put it at the table and go from one side to the other to play. Just so I could see what it's like to play it. That's what I had to do. Yu-Gi-Oh! Different story. Everyone had Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Nobody knew how to play Pokemon cards where I was. I only knew how because I had the Game Boy game. Pokemon trading card Game Boy game. So I was like, I had an understanding of how the game worked. At least through that. So, yeah. Rather sadly. <laughs> that's, that's what I did. Not afraid to admit it. I wanted to play it. I had no one to play with. So, I would just play against myself. And I would... You know, mentally have it where, like, I didn't favor one side of the table or the other. Just play as hard as I can, see what wins. It's just fun to look at the cards. It's quest 86. Can't be 86, will be the last one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I knew how, and I forgot to play it, and collected it more than I played. I feel like everyone collected it more than played. It was just collected them, you know? Catch them all. Um, but of cards. And I didn't have a particularly big collection. I probably had a bigger collection than most people. Uh, nah, I wouldn't even say most people. Like anyone who was big into collecting cards uh, probably had more than me. You know, I see kids today, and my nephew's got, like, double, double what I have. Uh, because it was so hard for me to get them. It was like, once in a while, if we went to the gas station, you know, stop and go, they would have them right there. I would ask every single time, maybe every five or six times, I would get one pack. And it was the most amazing thing. The feeling was so great when you got that pack and you opened it looking through one at a time. What are you going to find? Driftbloom, where'd you come from? I was having a chat with my friend here. It's not easy challenging a grown man to a duel at work. <laughs> No, but it's done. It's possible. You never played Dungeons & Dragons or anything like that? I played it, uh... I had a lot of friends. We randomly got really into it as adults. Um... And I basically got... Begged to play the first time. Told how good it, how much fun and how fun it is. I'm like, you know what? Give it a try. Everyone's saying it's a lot of fun. I'll keep an open mind. I tried it and I wasn't super into it. It wasn't really for me because people took it really seriously. So when I played it, I screwed around a lot. Guy's coming and he's telling us what we're supposed to do. I try to stab him. Come on. It's funny. Remember we were in a forest one day we were playing the Dungeons and Dragons and there was a little mushroom creature and it was apparently trying to lead us to where we were supposed to go. I tried to kill it. Look. The game, you, you do what you want to do, right? I thought that was the point. People got so mad at me, I got kicked out. I got kicked out of Dungeons and Dragons. Because I tried to kill imaginary creatures. You can't see. We didn't have a board. We didn't have a setup. It was all imagination. Because I tried to kill imaginary creatures using words. We're all only using words in our minds. I got kicked out. I was like, this isn't for me. <laughs> I tried it one other time. I, I just couldn't get into it. Um, I know a lot of other people are, like, die hard about it. I've got a lot of friends that are die hard about it. 
and it's cool for them. I just can't get into those um, types of games. Cool concepts, but I got told by somebody who was really mad, it's not a video game. You can't just do whatever you want. I'm like, I think I can do more of what I want in this than I could in any video game. <laughs> they didn't like that, so <laughs> it did not go well. Heather, you got f oh, you have five binders full of Pokemon cards. That's impressive. My binder is overflowing. The one I have, I probably could have fit it in two binders, but I didn't. It's serious. <laughs> You're telling me, Brian. It's more serious than I could have ever known. And my bad, I guess. I was just trying to have fun, like. I thought that was the point. Everyone's just screwing around, trying to have a good time, trying to have fun. If that's what we're trying to do, let me do it. it I, the person who was the DM is what they call them, Dungeon Masters. There's, so there's one person who's in control, and they're the one who controls everything that happens, and there's the players who are in their world. Um, you know, if they couldn't figure out more than one way to get you to where you're supposed to go, despite the crazy stuff you do, then that's on them. Maybe they, maybe they should be more creative. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I've read about shenanigans on like Reddit of other groups. So I got a group who got sent to go do things, and instead, uh, even, almost immediately upon embarking on their journey, they stopped. They killed a farmer and his family and took over the farmer, and then spent like the next whole one or two sessions just farming the farm. I'm just saying, if you can't let people pivot in those type of games to whatever stupid crazy shit they want to do, you shouldn't be playing. Didn't really get Dungeons & Dragons, so I never tried it. <laughs> I had a lot of other people, like I said, really knew what they were doing. <laughs> they were really into it, so they understood it more for me. They had books. Huge. Deep books multiples there'd be a stack as big as my head of thick long books that they'd have and they're like all right i'll let you borrow my books thanks for playing you'll get super excited you can have my books and you can play you learn everything in this book so you can understand as much as i do i'm like i'm not i'm not doing that you can tell me what this thing is and what's going on here <laughs> but, but i'm not reading all these books just to understand the game if that's the case, I'm out. <laughs> so they generally just told me what it was. But they they wanted me to read these books. No way. Like a job. You're damn straight. Seems too much going on to have fun. And you know what? Some people are more than fine to take on all that. To figure it out and have fun with it. And that's fine. It's fine for them. Not bashing on it. I'm absolutely happy for other people who enjoy it and have a good time. It just was not for me. So after that, another group's like, oh, you've played before. Well, you'd really like playing with us. We understand you like to goof off, we'll let you do that more. My level of goofing off was still too much for them, and after the second group I'm like, you know what? I'm never gonna play this again. It's gonna be like drugs. Just say no. <laughs> That's what I decided. Ooh, mysterious presence. <laughs> Oh, what is that? That's a waste of an ultra ball. Not a chance. Gotta know your limits, right? Couldn't be more right, Brian. And I think 
you know, particularly in both groups, there was people who were okay with the level of goofing off and just doing whatever and kind of straying off with it. But then there was always some people who would get upset and just try to appease everybody. You had to, everyone had to match where their head was at. It was like, ah, come on. Like, I think other people were going to leave if I didn't because there was too much goofing off. So, like, to just not make them leave, it's like, we got to play, take it more seriously. I was like, ah. if I take it more seriously, it's no fun for me. <laughs> There's just too much going on, like you said. Ever played Diablo 2? Ooh, yes, sir. Uh, I played a lot of Diablo 2. If you check out my YouTube, Black Ram GX Gaming, I played it for, like, pfft. I think a month almost. There should be like 20 episodes of that. Or mo or more. I absolutely loved Diablo 2. Played Diablo 1 on PC 15 years ago. Uh, and played Diablo 2 when the uh, remaster came out shortly after the remaster came out on Xbox. It was on sale for like 30 bucks, 20 bucks, or something like that. So I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna get that. It was like a Halloween sale, I think. So I played it around October. And uh, I loved it. I got addicted to that game too. I had a lot of people who came in and helped me, so it was like a walk in the park, because there's all these people who had beaten the game six, seven times who were coming in and giving me top gear. They're like, here, take this, and take this, and take this, and take this, and so I was way ahead of where I ever should have been, uh, simply because I was streaming, and everyone's like, hey, you look new here. Try this. I think I said that on the stream. That was like the stream title. First time playing Everyone wanted to hold my hand through that, and I'm like, I love it, but I'd like some surprises. <laughs> so so I, I had to uh, have people stop helping me and stop making it so easy so there was some level of challenge to the game. You play it every day, and you're not a nerd. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Being a nerd is not the same as it used to be, so... I think almost everybody's got a little bit of nerd in them. You know what? Even if all you like is sports, you're still a sports nerd. Play the Resurrected on PSN. See? Same thing. All I played was the Resurrected. It was fantastic. Get all my own stuff usually, but I try helping a lot of people. And I'll try helping other people too, but... I was the bottom of the barrel when I played it. Susan, thank you for the like. Cheers. That gets us up to 13 reactions, which is the weekly record. We've hit 12 on Monday and Tuesday. Jesus. Monday and Tuesday. 13 today. So we beat it by one. Good job, everybody. Thank you, guys. Cheers. And cheers, Susan. Ryan, you get all your own stuff, but try helping people out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of other hobbies. For sure. Yeah, I'm all over the place, too. The only sport I'm really into is uh, NFL, specifically football. Don't watch a lot of the college. <clears throat> Um, obviously we're gaming and, uh, keeping up with friendships, relationship, family, you know, usuals. That's about it. That's about all I got time for in life. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I didn't, uh, there wasn't a lot of stuff I found on my own in that game. People were giving me stuff that I wasn't going to be able to use till like my third playthrough 
It was like, here you go, use it when you can, or sell it, or whatever. I don't care, my stuff is significantly better, so. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> Two hundred twenty-two scene, two hundred and twenty cut. I think there's like two forty-two in the game or something like that. Uh, so let's see. Let's do this numerically. So there's at least six we're missing there. Oh. Perfect. Nice. I didn't get a shiny charm for that. So shield done. Obviously, we got to finish him. So 225 to 238 is all missing. This whole chunk here. Maybe there will be one more area, like the top of the mountain where the rift is. And these couple will be there. Also, maybe we'll see some more legendaries in this mix, perhaps. But everything after Lucario. Eighty-three of eighty-three, seventy-three of seventy-three, ninety-four of ninety-four, eighty-nine of eighty-nine, eighty-eight of eighty-eight. So perfect on every area so far. I'm at two thirty-one for both scene and caught. Nice. I'll get there. I'll get there. All right. It is nine eleven. We are eleven minutes past the normal stream time, so we're gonna end it here. We'll continue the story and maybe, possibly, wrap it up tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see um, how much there is to do. Probably more so we'll probably take this into monday or tuesday of next week trying to catch them all um we will hunt them all down i'll get them all before i'm done with this game uh so that's the goal not to 100 percent the pokedex or anything like that where you studied every single thing you studied but we'll get them all and get whatever uh shinies we can along the way heather we'll see you tomorrow thanks for stopping in thanks for the like the share um and chatting along with us appreciate it Brian, thanks for the like and chatting along with us as well. Appreciate it. You have a good night. Nice seeing you. Um, the question of the night. I don't have any percentages here, so I can't uh, say how people answered. I think it worked. I don't know if it did or not. Uh, the question of the night for those of you watching afterwards or on YouTube, feel free to comment your answer, is what planet has the highest density in our solar system specifically? Is it Pluto, Earth, Jupiter, or Mercury? So you might think it might be Mercury because it's a tightly packed little rock floating around the sun, super hot. Um, that's not it. You might think Pluto, um, but Pluto's not a planet, so <laughs> joke's on you. Uh, you might think Jupiter because it's so big, but it is a gas giant. And as far as we know, there might be some rock inside, might not be. I don't know. We haven't really figured it out yet as far as I know. So it's not Jupiter. It is, in fact, Earth. Brian, you got it right. Congratulations to you and anyone else who guessed Earth tonight. You guys are trivia masters. Um, I think I tried Mercury first. So I'm a dumb dumb. I didn't get it. I've been wrong on every question tonight. But I'm going to get them. I'm going to get one tomorrow. Whatever that question is, I'm going to get it right. Heather, you let me know if you catch any more shinies. Definitely do. Definitely do. I'm curious what else is out there and what they're going to look like. Some of them look really good. Some of them look terrible. <laughs> uh, so let's do some quick shout-outs for everybody for all the support tonight. Uh, thank you, William, for the like and share. Mike, appreciate the 45 stars and the like. Um, that was awesome. Thanks for chatting along as well. Marcus, thank you for the like and shares and the nice comment. Heather, thank you for the like and chatting along with us. Kayla, thank you for the like and the 269 stars. Hilarious number, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, Ejan, thank you for the like and the share. It's awesome. Uncanny, thank you for the like and the comment. Levon, thank you for the like. Ryan, thanks for chatting along. Thank you for the like and the follow. It's fantastic. Uh, Gassan, thank you for the follow. Sorry I didn't say that right away. I was in the middle of a heated battle. Uh, I'm feeling a little buzzed at the moment. 
Sam, thank you for the like and share. Brian, thank you for the like. Susan, thank you for the like. Appreciate everybody. Brian, it's always fun here. Hell yeah, it is. It's always a great time. Stop in whenever. This is pretty much my happy place when I'm streaming right now, playing these games after a long day of work. So I have fun here. Good news. We're up to 242 out of 250, as you see up there on the top on our follower goal. We got two new ones tonight. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll get some more overnight. If you are watching the stream after, please do follow. Helps out uh, to complete that bar up there. 97%. So close. Um, but if you've been here before and you're watching after the stream, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a share, drop a comment. Stars if you feel like it. If you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Sub if you're new. And if you've been there before, same thing. Like and comment. Ryan, yes, sir. You're always a good conversation. I love to talk. So if anyone's in here talking with me, it makes my, uh, makes my stream significantly better. I enjoy it. I might not be as focused on what's going on in there and what they're talking about, but I don't really care, um, to be honest. Mumbo Jumbo, skies tearing apart, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I just want to catch everything and uh, beat the game. I just like talking to you guys, so feel free anytime coming in, chatting it up. It's a good time. Thanks for uh, thanks for talking, Brian. Uh, made me think about the good times of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's making me wonder if maybe I should look at Charizard cards again. Well, probably not. Probably shouldn't do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll look. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll be back on tomorrow. We'll keep pushing along with the storyline. It looks like it's coming to a conclusion here, so it should be good. Don't miss it. 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. Be here or be not here, but be here. So until then, stay fresh, cheese bags. Have a good night. Blue eyes cards. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna look. I'm gonna look. We'll see what's out there. <laughs> Have a good night.